Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how to create some Learn Worlds quizzes. Now when it comes to Learn Worlds, they refer to them as assessments, but it's pretty much going to be the same thing. If you'd like to follow along, if you haven't gotten to test them out, I will leave my link down below for a free trial, or if you're already using them, you can utilize that to log in and get quicker access. So here we are with contents. I just created a new section called the final quiz. What I want to do is add activity. And as you're going to see right here, we have self-assessment. All right, we have the blank self-assessment. So combine the power of forms and exams, allow your students to self-assess their knowledge, write down their thoughts and get feedback from you. We have assess your knowledge, create self-assessed with closed ended knowledge questions, instant feedback and no scoring. We have write your views, goals and emotions. We have upload your work. You can record short videos. You can record audios. We have diary and reflection journal. So with this, I just want to go with assess your knowledge. This is going to be a good one and probably the closest to a quiz. So let's click on this. And let's see what you know. You can always change this around. So I'm just going to put this in here. Click on save and edit. All right. So check your understanding, answer the questions and receive instant feedback after each response you submit. So we can change this around. Just double click there. Time for a final quiz. If I can spell it right. There we go. Time for a final quiz. Looks good. Ready to start. You do like click here to continue, whatever it's going to be. Okay. So we have that specific section right there. And now what we can do is just go into the questions section. So here we are with a lot of the different questions that we have. So for exam questions, we have text, image, video, true, false, drop down, custom, uh, multiple answers, match and ordering, short text, text assignment, file assignment. A few of these are going to need the super upgrades. Okay. Content blocks and so on and so forth. There's also going to be a section for form questions. So really going to be up to you. But for this exam is going to work wonders. I like multiple choice. Let's go with text options. Okay, so add your multiple choice questions here. Here's gonna be the first question that comes up to the top of my mind. What is 100% needed to succeed with your online business? So that's gonna be the question. And first option, let's just say a pet parrot. <clears throat> Random stuff, I know, I'm just kind of quickly going through. The right mindset, a ton of money. And let's say we only wanna do three options. We can delete this one like this. Okay, and what you want to do is when you click on this here, you can choose whether this is going to be the correct answer or not. And by doing that, you would just click on the X, but that's obviously not going to be it. So let's hover over this and click on that. And you're going to notice that that's going to be the correct answer for that. So what is 100% needed to succeed with your online business? Next, add your multiple choice questions here. Now, for example, if we don't want that, what we can do is delete it. Sure. And now we can do questions, a new one. Now, let's say we want to do drop down. There we go. What is the number one, you know, organic traffic source based on the course, right? Just, you know, putting something in there and for placeholder, what we can do, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Okay. So we have YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Why not do let's require that. So we have select the value. And of course, let's just say that's going to be the correct one where they can select the value that way. Let's click on save as well. Let's do one more example. Okay. Let's do add question. So for this, we can do true, false. You need 100 certificates in order to become a successful online business. Let's go with false there. Of course, looks good. We have most of our stuff. So that's true. That's false. Looks great. And of course, there's going to be some other aspects we can utilize, but I think you kind of get the idea when it comes to, you know, getting up and running. I'm just going to click on save here. Okay, let's click on preview. All right, time for a final quiz. And like I said, you can change a lot of this around. This is kind of showing you the process of doing it. Answer the questions and receive instant feedback after each response you submit. So ready to start. So what is 100% needed to succeed with your online business? We have the right mindset. Let's click on submit. Correct answer, perfect. Let's click on next. Of course, what is the number one organic traffic source according to what we created here? If you wanted to choose any others, we have YouTube submit looks great and you need a hundred certificates in order to become a successful online business. Let's just say we did true here and submit 
and that's going to be wrong. Okay. And finish. So feedback, you can do uh, correct answers, time spent, date submitted. And of course, attempt, you can always feedback report or retake, which will bring you back to the beginning. And all in all, that's going to be the quick tutorial when it comes to learn worlds and their specific quizzes. All in all, it's really about knowing exactly what you need to ask, what you're looking to ask. And of course, you can have a little bit more fun with it by using different types of answers. For example, they had like the actual images you can utilize. They had like a mix and match. That's going to be up to you. But as long as you understand how to get it up and running, it's a pretty simple process. This. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I hope you got something out of this when it comes to learn worlds and quizzes or these self assessments as they'd like to refer to them. And if you'd like to try learn worlds, I will leave that link down below in the description for you. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.